Hey guys, this is the first in a set of tutorials that is going to show you how to uh, create your anamorphic projection in digital space in order to then be able to create it in your actual physical space. Okay, so this first tutorial is just going to look at how to place a camera inside of your space and create a viewpoint. And that viewpoint, really what it does is it simulates the kind of viewpoint that you would uh, have inside of your space from which you would see your anamorphic, okay? So it's really important, obviously, to be able to create this viewpoint and then to be able to save it so that you can reference uh, uh, to it as you begin to make your projection, okay? In order to do this, the first thing that you have to have done is you have to have your uh, space modeled in uh, in Rhino, right? So uh, if you remember, I showed you guys how to model this one wall uh, in the previous tutorial. And since then, I went ahead and modeled the rest of the space. The space, uh, in, in my case, had a bunch of additional walls, and it's a fairly complex plan, right? Um, but it's really important that I modeled all of it so that I know where I can stand inside of this room and look at either this wall or any other wall that I choose to project, right? And so that's important because we, now we have to imagine that our projection is going to happen from somewhere inside, from a view that is in the space, looking at a particular corner and, and seeing how, that, uh, how we can play and create a kind of illusion in that space, right? So we have to be able to know what the extents of it are. Okay, so once you have this space, the next thing to do is to bring in your vector file. And we won't be using it just quite yet for this tutorial, but, uh, but I'll show you how to bring it in once again, just so that you have it. So we'll go ahead and type import and we'll grab it, that Illustrator file. You can click okay. And it came in and if you didn't notice it, it was very small right here. So before clicking anywhere else, I'm actually just gonna type in zoom and then select it and it will bring me up close to my imported vector file. Then I'm gonna zoom out kind of and just move it over. And then I'm gonna do two things. The first thing is I'm just gonna scale it so that it's easier to find. And so long as I'm scaling it uh, in all directions, just type scale, it'll be fine. And then the next thing is so that rather than just grabbing one thing at a time, uh, I can grab everything. If I just click on any part of it, I'm gonna select all of it and type group, okay? So now I'm ready. I have my vector file. I have my modeled space. Now I'm ready to start creating a viewpoint. So like I mentioned, if you can imagine, what's really important is that it ha it's a viewpoint that sort of much uh, is a stand-in for where you, we are going to be viewing our anamorphic projection, right? So, um, and that happens inside of the space. So the first thing that I have to do is I, I wanna create a kind of avatar of myself, right? And I'm just gonna do that by uh, creating a vertical line. So I'm gonna type in line and I'm gonna place it somewhere inside of my space and I'm gonna give it a height of five foot six inches. Right? And that, what that does is that simulates my eye height if I'm standing inside of this room, okay? So now I can sort of, you know, move myself into in that space, right? So that's the first thing is to create uh, a, a position for my eye or my viewpoint, right? That is about approximately somewhere in my viewing height. Of course, if you're gonna be sitting or if you wanna create your anamorphic from a position in which you're sitting, then you just have to measure what your sitting height is from your eye down to the ground and create that as a vertical height, okay? So now I have to create a viewpoint and I'm gonna do that by placing a camera, okay? And what the camera needs is it, it has the, the, the camera position and the camera target. So then it, basically it's gonna be a line that is from where my eye is to where I want to be the center of, of my image, okay? And so I'm actually just gonna, once again, grab a polyline or create a line and create, draw a line. So I'm gonna draw a line, in this case, from my eye to this corner back here at the center or this perpendicular right there, right? And so that is kind of the vector of the camera 
that I want to be looking at. Uh, of course, I can change that line uh, and play around with it. You guys can do that. Uh, and you will probably have to do that in order to find a view that you actually like. So let's say that this is the, the kind of the vector of the view that I'm interested in seeing what that looks like. So now that once I have that, now I have to uh, place the camera. So in order to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to go here. Uh, and yours will probably say perspective. You'll see why mine says view final in just a second. But you will left click on this down arrow and you will go to set camera, place camera and target. Okay. And what that's going to do is it's going to ask you first to place your camera. So I'm going to place it at my eye position and then the target. And I've defined the target as being that end of that line here. And so that gives me the view, that view that I had from looking at this, this corner from that previous point, okay? So I can do that again, and I will show you again how to do that So with a different view. So let's say instead of doing that one, right, I want to actually look from this point, and I want to have, be looking actually at this thing right here, this fo focusing on this area right here, right? So now I'm going to actually go do the same thing. Click here, go to set camera, place camera and target. And now the center of my image is right here. As you can see, this is probably a projection because so much of it is would be in the ceiling. Maybe I'm interested in a projection that somehow hits this wall over here and part of the ceiling. Maybe I don't like that, right? So once again, maybe I create another line and I look, well, maybe actually I want to be focusing actually a little bit further down, somewhere that maybe is closer to the ground. I uh, hit OK. And I'll do the same thing. View, set camera place camera and target. And there we have it. Okay. So uh, now though, right, the problem is, uh, I don't, I, I don't know how to get back to it, right, or, 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 or I want to make sure that I save that viewpoint, right. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do the same process. Let's say that that last one was the one that I liked. this one that looked a little bit further down. Uh, I have an extra line there that I'm going to delete so I don't get confused, right? But this is this is that 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 view vector that I uh, I'm interested in, and so now I want to save that camera view. So uh, once again, in order to do that, first thing is to uh, look through that viewpoint. So I'm going to once again go to set camera, place camera and target, place my camera, place my target. And now I'm ready to save it. And in order to save it, what you're going to do is you're going to once again left click, but now you're going to go to set view and you're going to go to named views. Click on that. And now you're going to click this save as button and save this. And now you see that's why I had previously called this view final. So I'm actually going to do the same thing, call it view final, replace it and uh, close this. Now what happens is actually, I can be anywhere looking through anything, right? And if I want to get back to my view final, all I have to do is left click here, go to set view, and now you'll see view final is one of the views that I have saved. So if I click there, it takes me to that view, okay? So that is the process of creating a, a camera and saving a viewpoint. And of course, that's gonna be super important because that is the viewing direction that we're gonna have for our anamorphic projection. Okay, so um, so that's that's the the first and most important step.